Hi, my name is Jim McIlvain. I am the eCare Manager for Optima Batteries, and we're here at Optima World Headquarters in Milwaukee, Wisconsin today with a brand new 2016 Ford Focus RS, 350 horsepower, 350 foot-pounds of torque, and a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. It's a hot little car. There's a lot of people that want them. We were lucky enough to get one. More specifically, my boss was, so I'm not going to handle the paint. But what we're going to do today is we're going to swap out the OE AGM battery for an Optima Group D35 yellow top battery. And we think we're going to have a pretty nice weight savings with that that a lot of you will want to take advantage of. So the first thing we're going to do when we replace this battery is we're going to take a lot of this plastic cladding off of the engine compartment that's pretty typical of what you see in modern cars today. Once we get the battery cover off, we're going to take out the entire airbox assembly and you're going to want to have a 7 millimeter socket to do that. We've got the airbox cover off, now we're going to take off the air filter. Now we're going to take apart the lower airbox assembly and remove that as well so we can get at the battery. That also includes disconnecting the MAF sensor and getting that out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is disconnect the air inlet and remove the lower air box. All right, so we're in Wisconsin. So this RS came equipped with an engine block heater, but we need to get that out of the way, so we're gonna disconnect the wiring harness and move it over here. Even though this car is all-wheel drive, I doubt it'll ever see a salty road. Next, we're gonna to go to the positive battery cable and disconnect that. So normally when you remove a battery from a vehicle, you'd like to take the negative cable off first. Unless we remove the cowling on the RS, that is kind of a challenge, so we're gonna disconnect the positive cable but remember to wear eye protection when you do this because you don't want to take any chances when you're working around batteries and also I remove my wedding band as well. I'll put the 10 millimeter socket on here and, and get this thing disconnected. So new batteries come with plastic terminal covers and there's no reason that you can't take it off one battery and put it on another. So just for safety's sake we're going to put that on the battery while we work on removing the hold downs here with that same 10 millimeter socket. Got the 10 millimeter nuts removed. I'm gonna remove the hold down bracket now. So now that we've got the hold down removed, we're gonna remove the battery and start sliding it out. These batteries come with built-in handles because batteries are heavy. So you wanna take a lot of extra care and caution when you lift the battery out and expose the negative terminal so we can get that loose. One thing you wanna keep in mind, these newer cars have battery monitoring systems and that's all integrated into the negative terminal, so you want to be careful. Just remove this 10 millimeter nut right here and we'll get it all off at once. All right, now that we've got everything disconnected, again like we did with the positive terminal cover, we're going to put the negative terminal cover on and lift the battery with both hands and remove it. So we've got the Group D35 Yellow Top Optima battery here, and you'll notice I transferred the terminal covers over just for the installation in case we encounter anything metallic so we don't have any arcing. And I'll also point out, these handles are removable. Now we've had some folks over the years who don't understand how to remove the handles. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And this battery is pretty easy to grip right in here and move it into the spot. So we've got our D35 yellow top placed. I'm going to put the negative terminal back on the battery now. Tighten it down. You don't have to clean the terminals on Optima batteries or the AGM batteries that they're replacing on here because they are sealed. So you should not have corrosion issues. If you do, there's probably something going on with your battery. When you slide the D35 back into this box here, you want to make sure you position it near the front of the box because there's really not a lot of slack with this positive terminal. 
So now that we have the D35 placed in the battery box, you'll notice it's significantly smaller than the OE battery, and that comes with an added benefit of weight reduction. When you think about how much people spend on carbon fiber and titanium parts, look at this lead acid battery here. You're seeing a savings between the factory battery and the Optima Yellow Top of almost eight pounds. Now we added the Yellow Top because we're gonna put some electrical accessories in here and we want a battery designed for starting and deep cycle use. If you only need a battery designed for starting, you're not gonna put a big stereo in, you can go with a red top. You go with a red top, you're gonna to save almost 12 and a half pounds by going from the factory battery to the 35 red top. I'm gonna to reinstall the hold down on the battery. So the hold down has the battery secure in the box, now we're going to put the wall back on the box. The wall is back on, the battery is surrounded, now we're going to take the cover off and then reinstall the positive terminal. So the battery is installed and secured in the car, and now we're just going to reverse the process that we did when we took the other battery out, put the air box back in, and put everything back together. So I'm just about done buttoning things up here. I'm just going to put the battery cover back on. And this brand new Ford Focus has a brand new Optima Yellow Top high performance AGM battery in it. And it's almost eight pounds lighter. And don't forget, if you want even more weight savings, you can go with the Optima Group 35 Red Top battery and save yourself almost 12 and a half pounds over the stock battery. So one thing to keep in mind, we replaced a brand new factory AGM battery with a brand new Optima AGM battery. As your vehicle ages, the battery control module changes the way that it charges the battery in your car. So if you wait until your factory AGM battery is older, you may need to register your new battery. And if you don't have a scan tool to do that, you may want to check with your dealer and see if they can help you.